so we're we're an hour in and we might as well like quickly touch on that small thing of a gta doc uh, yeah. I remember, remember when podcasts used to like start with GTA DLC discussion, and it would go on for like forty-five minutes before we got into anything else. How times have changed. I like it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm so pissed with GTA. Like, I I don't want to get a, a Series X, but you can't play with anybody that has a Series X. No, because of the expanded enhance, it's ridiculous. I I feel so left out now because I would like to go back and you know gallivant around san andreas but i can't because i don't have anybody to play with mm. well i mean talk about being left out like i'm still literally playing on the superior version of the game and i don't have the content that the new consoles do it's silly yeah pc yeah. doesn't hasn't got anything yet the files are all there though so i think it's just a matter of time before they release it but they just they're, they're dragging their their feet a little bit I mean, do you not have a next gen? I thought you'd gotten a next gen platform, RDT. No. Oh, oh, you're talking. To me. No, yeah, NAS wouldn't get a next gen. No, platform. no. <laughs> um, no, I'm still on the Xbox One X. So just like the upgraded original Xbox One. Oh, um, okay. I don't know. I don't like. There's nothing really to get. Yeah, I guess. On, yeah. on like a Series X or a Series S. It's so funny because I still the latest console I had from like Xbox and Microsoft uh, Sony is an Xbox 360. It's still the latest <laughs> thing I have. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, that was a great Very console, good. to be fair. Oh yeah, the best. Um, but yeah, the, the DLC. I mean, it was a it was a very quality of life update. A lot of people have been negative about it, but I, I quite liked it. You know? <laughs> it's just I wouldn't <laughs> mind if this was just a blueprint for all DLCs in the summer. They do like your big feature DLC in the winter, and then summer's more small scale. Add some cards and fix a lot of stuff. I mean, they still mm. broke stuff in the process of fixing a lot of stuff, but they're at least eating into it a little bit now. <laughs> To Rather. me, the whole like adding a bunch of stuff the fan base has wanted for the entire duration of the thing seems very end of lifey to me. Like they're, they're yeah, slowly sunsetting. That, yeah, yeah, because loads of games do this. But like they're they're going in when the devs know that it's going to get shut down soon. They all like, oh god, we got to get all these things we're meaning to get in the entire time, right? Like, yeah, yeah. And I, I bet you those cash card sales aren't sunsetting. Oh no, no. 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 Kill here, brother. So you know, I, I, yeah, that's the problem. Like, yeah, you know, I, I think I I said something positive about it, and I was surprised at the negativity or something that people were doing, and then people immediately assumed that that was me saying, "Oh, Rockstar are amazing now, and they're going to be perfect, and they, they they completely absorbs everything that they've previously done." Like, no, it's not what I said. They've done nine years of shit, and they need another nine years of doing stuff like this to get back on level terms but it's good it's refreshing to at least have had a you know some quality of life changes but yeah it might just be the fact that it's you know like they're coming to the end of the life of it and that's all we're gonna get but yeah, yeah. hopefully that I means mean, we're getting something new yeah <laughs> yeah that's a positive on that side i i still think it's shit that single player doesn't have all the quality of life online does <laughs> still i know just got nothing it just it was left in like 2016 was it when they stopped updating that single player it's just crazy sure when, but yeah it hasn't they like, don't know any new cars did, all did they ever update it ever yeah the yeah. the very early dlcs came to single player as well oh yeah that's right like the beach bum stuff yeah yeah that was yeah. Single, that's right um, the T20, I think. I feel like the T20 would have, like, uh, and the Osiris might have been in single player, and then that was the last, and that would have been like mid 2016, but it could have even been before then. I don't know. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I don't think, because re- those car names sound familiar to me, and mm. I know that they were not added to single player. So oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, that was back when you could remember car names because there was like 10 cars in the supercars class rather than 50. Yeah, <laughs> there's nearly a hundred yeah, cars in sports now. Boy, it sure is good that we have a website where we can uh, filter them all. Right? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. GTA Cars dot net. <laughs> oh, it's such a good website. I actually, I actually played online again a little bit with my friends uh, like a, week, a month or so ago. Yeah, I know. 
uh, not a month ago, a week or so ago. And I was just like, oh, look at all these new cars. And they were like, yeah, I don't know what the best ones are anymore. And I was like, aha. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it's been it's been for people who have been really happy about it. I think it's it's doing well. So I'm 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 glad I'm glad we've put something out there website wise like that that it's uh, it's it's helping and it's only going to get better. So well, yeah. well, let me know when you add San Andreas to it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the the next like the the plan is to finalize everything for the GTA Five stuff so that there'll be no features that we're going to add that we need to then add for like three different games later on down the line or something, but. Yeah, get the GTA Five stuff all finalized and sorted. Then do GTA Four, and then the three D games. So, yeah, well, hopefully. Yeah, not I think too the long. website's going to really pop off once GTA Six eventually does come out. Yeah. Like, I think is I think your website's going to be a big deal if you sit on it and maintain it for sure. Like, it, it will be the it will be literally the resource. I mean, that's what I've been doing, sitting on my channel, hoping GTA 6 to come out for the last, like, five years and <laughs> hoping that that would blow up and become the next the resource. So I could do it with the website, too. Yeah, your, yeah, channel's, yeah. your channel's like an investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 